Hi, I'm Dimitri from Marca, and in this episode we are going to talk about Mission 9 preparations. I'm close to the test stand and look at this location. Isn't it beautiful? And what can be better than performing rocket engine tests in a location like this while keeping the environment clean? After the first test of LAS25DA, we brought down the engine from the test stand. After this operation, the engine was disassembled piece by piece and checked. Although this was a time-consuming operation, it was necessary since the main valves were not checked since the end of 2018 when they were integrated into a test stand for the first time. All parts were working properly and none of it was changed except for the pneumatic system hoses. We reassembled the engine, but compared with the configuration that we tested on the ground, we needed to make five changes in the vehicle's configuration, changes required by the flight profile of Mission 9. The first major change, integration of a plug cover to further enhance the aerospike engine's thrust by creating a base pressure. The second major change, integration of a flight control system. This is controlling the vehicle's attitude and navigation. Third major change, the integration of new additional flow control valves into the engine. The toroidal engine's chamber was segmented into eight individual chambers. Four chambers have nominal thrust, while the other four have modulated propellant flow for yaw and pitch control. The roll control is provided by four RCSs. Fourth major change, the return of the composite tank for the flight configuration. As an example, the stainless steel tank used for the test have a weight of 600 kilograms, while the composite tank that we are going to use for Mission 9 has a weight of 200 kilograms. Fifth major change, integration of a pneumatic landing gear. The vehicle will perform vertical takeoff and landing flights and therefore a landing gear for soft landing was absolutely required. Overall, LAS25DA packs a huge amount of innovation, and if it's going to be successful, I think it's going to be the start of a radical change for the launch industry in terms of cost reduction and protection for the environment. But uh, all improvements, all upgrades need to be tested, and this is exactly what we are doing these days. As you know, Mission 9 was supposed to take place in April from Cape Media Air Force Base. But on May 15th, the restrictions relaxed and we were able to resume the work at full uh, speed. Please follow us on uh, social media. Uh, we are going to publish regular updates regarding the schedule. Mission 9 is just around the corner. That's it for this episode. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and support this video series on Patreon. See you next time on Flight of the Aerospike.